Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Tired F1 pod with me, Shez, and you, Amar. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Yeah, you know, summer break. It's a little yeah. bit like, uh, you know, we're on summer holidays. All but the transaction actually, stuff is done, I, man. <laughs> I know, but all I want is to to see some cars on track. So I'm just have to, having to make stuff up. Um, but we have got some fun stuff to talk about. We talked about in a video um, not very long ago that Red Bull were imploding and Max Verstappen now has no reason to stay at at Red Bull. Uh, I maintain that, that, that the omens are heading in that direction. That I don't, I don't really understand what there is to... This guy called it, by the way, just wow. so you know. I'll yeah, remind yeah, you every yeah. time. So, uh, just with that in mind, look, nothing's happened. Nothing's been official. Like, uh, Max is still at Red Bull for the foreseeable. But we thought it would be fun uh, to have a little look, a little glimpse into the future. What would happen if Max Verstappen does sign on the dotted line oh in 2025? God. And there we are. We have Max Verstappen versus George Russell in the same car. Who comes out on top of our flash reaction now? Uh, I think it's Max. But before I before we uh, jump into it, I just want to say that th- that this transaction should it happen. I'm totally rooting for it because I was the, one of the first, if not the first, to call it. It creates a love triangle at the center of which is good old Toto Wolf. I mean, look at what he's doing, man. He's he's literally creating there's, drama. There's, there's no there's no love here. Dude, that that <laughs> Netflix no season here. is going to be all Mercedes drivers if this happens. Like no, no one's going to care about Lewis and Ferrari. Everyone's going to want to wonder how Max and George aren't going to handle each other. And that and, and imagine Yoss Verstappen being in Toto Wolf's ear every single time. Like, oh my Indeed. god, I can't wait for that. Let please uh, yes, make it happen. Tell, tell him to move over. Tell him to move <laughs> tell over. Tell him to move over. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but it's Max. So it's going to be Max. It's going to be Max. Of okay. Course. So just ground rules first of all. Uh, we are not talking about Kimi Lohan Antonelli. Okay. So 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 in, in terms of this conversation, Kimi Antonelli is a specter. There is he's just a twinkle in Toto's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there is no chance of him coming uh, coming to Mercedes in, in this dystopian future. And it is dystopian because I do not think it will be pretty. It'll be fun to watch, but it will not be pretty. Um, okay, why Max? Why is Max going to win it? Hey, why not? Oh, again, wow, good answer. The, the resume good is... Good answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I look, I mean, we've seen Max and Lewis go at it, right? So I, I feel like... I hate to say it, but it should be a little bit of a step down seeing these two guys go at it. But look, Mercedes are, are famous for uh, for putting together teammates that can fight each other and still not, you know, manage to uh, to give away the constructor. So I um, look, man, Max is going to be had a pretty big level of dominance back in those days, did. though, didn't they? They did. That's true. And uh, the way things are going at, at this summer break, I mean, it's it's hard not to bet against Mercedes coming out the, the more dominant car in in a year or two from now um why wouldn't it be max look max has always told us that he's not here to you know let people pass by he's here to win otherwise he can just sit at home max would be coming in as a four-time champion can we be comfortable saying that well yeah at least... i think yeah i think so i think it'll I think be, so. I it think would so. it would take a big a big big upset and a lot of unreliability i think for max to not win this year's title which 10 races to go slow pat 10 races, are you correcting me? <laughs> 10 races so to go. You, it you can happen. It, it can happen. It. Uh, it can happen. But I, I agree with you. I mean, as a four-time champion, I, I mean, I guess my answer to your question is sort of at the center of which is what else is there for Max to do if not come in and, and kick someone's butt and to do it at Mercedes, w- w- uh, Lewis Hamilton's team, Lewis Hamilton's seat, probably, and to beat Lewis Hamilton, but I mean, it might change and... the seat. They I mean, okay. might change the seat. But isn't he probably taking that open seat, right? Because yes. George is not yes. moving. So, um, to do that, to go up against Lewis at Ferrari, and then whoever else ends up being at Red Bull, which I feel at that point would be really pointless. I don't think it matters. But uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, this on top of his resume, right, of, of being a four-time champion and everything that that means. I mean, I don't think George stands a chance in that mm-hmm. case. Oh, a formidable argument, Amara. Formidable. There's a bad coming, try. isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try anyway. Of course, I'm going to try. Okay. So, first of all, George has been a Merck driver for, sorry, a Mercedes Benz driver for 
years, right? He, How many yes, years? Yes, he, he did. He did three years. years at sure he did three years at Williams, but he was a Mercedes junior before that. He was ensconced in the team. He was the next big thing. Toto has been has been talking him up for years. He's a and, and here he is now in 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 the Mercedes, uh, and on qualifying pace is doing over the greatest qualifier of all time, not to be not not to be sniffed at, and that for me puts him on one lap pace at least within the top three in Formula One right now. And I think my ranking would probably be Max, Charles, Ooh. George. Ooh. But but I, I, just, I don't... Even there, I, you I, ranked him under Max, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay. but, but with tenure in that car brings an advantage, like knowing what that car can do, uh, what its foibles are and how to get the best out of it, being a raise-the-floor kind of driver, which I think he is. Um... I think he'll get more out of that car more of the time initially than Max will. But we'll see. The other the other thing is Max, Max is brilliant as he is in those Red Bulls, has only ever driven Red Bull machinery. Uh, he's only ever won in Red Bull machinery. So it's going to be a jump for him to go from you know, cars that are very, very particular that he has learned how to, 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 to get the best out of and go to somewhere else. It's not a great example because I think you know, Max is head and shoulders above this guy, but Sebastian Vettel really struggled when everything changed, didn't he? Um, and those blown diffusers were gone and he had to drive the car in a completely different way. They went to Ferrari. He was never quite the same driver. He was never as dominant as he was in those years at Red Bull. So are we are we going to find a little bit of a, you know, Max isn't going to be quite as comfortable at, at, at Mercedes as he is at Red Bull? Then it comes down to driver characteristics, right? So, look, we did a video about uh, about Max. Um, uh, you, you guys need to go back and have a look at it. But it was him uh, qualifying in Japan, and oh. man, that I have to say, that first sector in Japan was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It was astonishing, right? The 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 the, the way that he is able to manipulate that car to be able to float it into apexes, to not take too much out the rear tires by doing that, by being, by, by having the front end so sensitive that the rear has to do what he tells it to do. It was, it was like watching a salmon swimming gracefully wow. up a hill. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But will the Mercedes allow him to do that? That that is what I don't know. Is there a very specific characteristic about the Red Bull that allows him to do that? Is he going to be able to exploit the Merck Mercedes in the same way? And, and George will have a head start on that. So my argument is that actually George is a pretty quick driver, right? Maybe top three. So I don't think in qualifying Max is going to have the advantage that he has right now, right? We're we're looking at uh, at a Max that has a car that. That is that does what he wanted to do, and he's got very used to, and a teammate that has no idea how to deal with that car, right? No idea how to deal with that car, and we we actually don't know what another driver of a caliber of Max, like a Lewis or a George or a Shaw or, or even a Lando, how they would fare in that car. We don't have the answer to that. So to put Max into another car with a driver of a caliber that is comparable, we. I don't think we know exactly how that's going to go. So I think George will have certain advantages in his favour and he has ability under his right foot. And if you're talking about, what did you call it? You you called it, the not reputation, you called it... Um, what did I call About what? About his, uh, he's got stuff under his belt. Like he's he's done stuff already. Yeah, dominance. Yeah, I mean... Sure. But, 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 George has also got stuff in his in his locker, oh, right? He does, of course he does. This is the guy that that won F two rookie season in a in a in a field that had Lando Norris mm. and Alex Albon in it. It's that's not something small, right? That was a I tough mean, tough. Field. George has a locker. Max has a warehouse. When if if we're gonna sure. do that, sure, 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 sure. But but opportunities have been different for these two drivers as well, though, haven't they? Like like 
mean, like George has had uh, three seasons in a Williams, and and in those three seasons, he still managed to stick the car on the front row of the grid. That that's not something I small. Say, well, I didn't say it's fair, but I mean that's what Max comes to the team with, right? I mean that's what is he going to do? He's going to like leave it out, like and just start fresh. It's not. And by the way, when Max came on the scene, he was that that phenom, that prodigy, that. I mean, I think he was greater at what he was doing than than George, than George Russell is. I mean, yes, George might have more accolades, but good God, I remember when Max first came on the scene. I remember that win he had in Barcelona. I mean, those are things that that wasn't are, even his that wasn't his first that, season, that wasn't was even it? his first one. I'm just talking about his more memorable ones, right? Like that. I don't have anything about George that way. I just don't. I mean, it's not it's not me, you know, keeping it against him. I, I, do, like, I understand that, but I mean, look, I, I just don't think we can we can we're, do the we're, math. We're and... talking about we're talking the... about okay, Max on his first opportunity won a race. Take your point, George. First opportunity he had to win a race. What happened? He won that race twice in Sakir 2020 before Mercedes managed to mess that up. That was a dominant car. You could have put me in that car in Lewis's car in Bahrain. The 2020, right? And I would have right, won but, it. But too. Max Max won a race in Spain 2016 when the two dominant cars had crashed out. So he didn't have the competition. Oh, come in that on. Race. Yes, but he was going to be P3 then, no? Even if they hadn't. Uh, he, so he I agree. Yeah. I agree that the, the cream come to the top, right? And Max is the cream. All I'm saying is that George isn't not the cream. I don't think that you can call it as easily as Max is going to absolutely bulldoze him. I don't think it's that straightforward. Okay, well, Max is the kind of guy that uh, I mean, I I take your point on like how transitions to new teams can be really difficult for drivers that have been dominant or champions or or both in 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 their previous teams, right? Where everything's sort of designed around them. But good God, if there's a driver that you would think can go to a new team and get it from day one, it is Max, and he's shown glimpses of that, even in the even in the current version of Red Bull, which is nowhere close to being the quickest car at least over the last six races right and we have come on here time after time after time after every race and praise max for out driving that car out foxing his competition and and he's been able to do that my final thing to you and i had a lot of your arguments Greg, but when you brought up total wolf i couldn't disagree with you more i mean just look at the public flirtation that's going on for max like total wolf is oh, actively no, causing not, not, no love there, but no, no i but, think they've but, got but, love there but I mean, uh, I how is George going to feel? How is George going to yeah, feel when exactly. he finally gets? So that's what I'm exactly. saying. Like, like so, so, so you said that George was Toto's guy. I disagree with you. He's going to disown George in a second one. Max get there. And also, by the way, Max coming. Which I think in would is, be a mistake. It's kind of like I think that the, would be a mistake. It is not that different than having Alonso in there. I'm not saying that Max is Alonso in yeah. the way he behaves, but Love the that. circus that comes with him that's going to affect George. I mean, Lewis Hamilton is relatively calm, although his fan base is not. But but he doesn't. Lewis Hamilton doesn't have a meddling dad like, like Max does. Whether Max likes it or not, like that kind of stuff is going to be amazing. When Toto Wolf has publicly this whole year, I cannot remember a race weekend where he hasn't flirted with Max publicly, right? When he has said that, that is a different thing. I don't even think he worked that hard to to. Co- I mean, who? I don't know, never mind. Let's not go down. So, that okay, so but, I mean. So- so, Omar, look, Mercedes operate a policy where they don't have a team leader. They don't have a number one. They're going to have they to let have their, one. They, they let their teams, they, they, they let their drivers race. Well, they didn't need to. They didn't do it when Lewis and Nico were going up against each other. There's no reason for them to do it now. And I said there on our now. last, <laughs> I said on our last video about this, that Max needs two things. He needs team harmony and he needs a fast car. I think that they will potentially have a fast car next season, Mercedes, but if George feels threatened, it will not be a harmonious team. And Max, when he, for ev- for all of the ac- other accolades that you can give to Max, right? And Max is an incredible driver. What he does not do is there, there, there is a chink in his armor when things get tense. And you saw that in Austria this season when he thought his lead was under threat. He started moving in the braking zone. When we're back in Hungary, he got tetchy over the radio and then and then dive bombed Lewis and was lucky to not get a penalty, I think, for, for that for that maneuver. And if George can get under his skin and just and he's very good at this. George is very, very good at like saying what he, what he means. Just look at but look like back at yeah. just look back at what happened in Australia this season when after the race Lewis was asked about his car and he said, "Ah, oh, 
you know, this car is really difficult to drive and I'm having the worst start to a season ever. And George was like, yeah, we're driving the same car and actually it's not that bad. The, the mind games are there. It's not like he doesn't know how to play this game. I mean, Lewis has more can, wins than if, George now, though. That's and if true. he can, under, sure. And if he can get under Max's skin and start to just disrupt that a little bit with, with, the, with the pace that he has, with the experience that he has with the team... I don't think it, I don't think Max will have that harmony, and things could unwind for him a little bit. Like I don't think it's a it's a nailed on George is going to do this. And I think Max is an absolutely formidable animal that's coming into that that would be coming into that team. Forgive me, I'm talking about it like it's already happened because I want it to happen. I think it would be brilliant. We're, we're, anyway, we're going to speak it into existence. But I do think that. Yeah. But I do. Th yeah, exactly. I do think that George has certain qualities. Uh, beyond just his on track abilities that 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 mean that he could upset the apple cart in his favor in the same way Nico Rosberg did to, to Lewis in 2016 no one would have thought that Nico Rosberg could beat Lewis Hamilton and Lewis had a lot of mechanical dnfs that year a lot of stuff that went against him but but Nico absolutely made the most of those things and did everything that he could to unsettle the the, the team and and get himself in a position that that took advantage of what was happening on the other side of the garage yeah, uh, I, I think you made very valid points. I tend to agree with most of them. Yet, I just think that the sheer advantage and the sheer sort of mindset that is Max Verstappen, in some ways, he's more deadlier than Lewis Hamilton when it comes to these kind of things. Like, he's just got this unrelenting focus on nothing but mm. racing. And and I just think that a driver of that that capability, I mean, Max is one of one in that regard, right? We're not, this is not a Max versus Lewis thing. So we're, we're not, we're not saying Max is great at the expense of Lewis or vice versa. I just think that he's such a great Formula One driver that, that he would, if there's anyone I could pick to come into a new team and start to kick butt right out of the gate, that I would, I would do that. And that's, sure. that's, that's because of just everything we've seen. I mean, even at Spa to put that car like half a second above everyone else in a rain soaked weekend where drivers were having a hard time keeping it on track. I mean, this is stuff. I mean, that oh. day, that Red Bull wasn't a Red Bull. Like that was, that could have been, uh, you know, Ma a house for all you. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. I no absolutely, question. Max is but, up here right now. For like, me, just... for me, the simple thing around harmony is around what Toto Wolf does in the event that Max gets there. Because like I said, yes, you're right that he, they let Nico and, and Lewis fight it out, but he did not court a driver quite as desperately publicly as he has done with Max. And in the process of getting him, if he does manage to get him, he's going to have to make concessions he uh, wouldn't have made. Yeah, okay, he's going to have I, to do that. Okay, so, so let, let's do a bit of a history lesson here because I think that things are not exactly what they seem. When Mercedes had their problem of Michael Schumacher retiring, they had to get somebody in quickly. Now, Toto didn't do all the legwork. He didn't right. do all of the in-public eye fluttering, sending love letters, telling everyone that I carry a contract with me to the toilet uh, just in case yeah. he, he, yeah. I've got someone okay. to to, yeah. to sign it. Because he had Nicky Lauda in the background Correct. doing all the hard work for exactly. him. Exactly. Who was very, very subtle about yes. this. Said, Mercedes very do dead. not have that. Like a right helmet now. Marco, but a, but a nicer guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's a very good characterization. <laughs> um, but, 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 now Toto has to do that all in public. He doesn't, ha and, and he has a microphone shoved in front of his face all the time. He doesn't so have to he, say anything, though. He doesn't have to say anything. But he doesn't. Ha but but I think he is. He's not as subtle as Nick Nicky would have been in that situation. Nicky would have just done all this, and Max would already have signed the contract by now. Uh, Toto's having to do this in public because he doesn't have another way of doing it. I don't think. I just. I don't know. And uh, maybe part of it is also because he likes to poke Christian Horner all the time. Uh, and, and that's why this is happening. But I don't think that if they turned up in the same team, that Max would automatically get number one status because that's just never how Mercedes have run their 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 team. Even when Valtteri Bottas was there, Lewis had to prove that he was quicker than Valtteri to be able to get <laughs> um, to, 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 to get to get team status. Like it's not like they Okay. It's not like they they moved him aside. 2017, look at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Championship on the line. Valtteri Bottas was given his position back to take the podium. And Lewis wasn't able to overtake the, the Ferraris. It's it's they, they run a very fair team. I don't think that's particularly up for up for debate. You I can think if it you is. want to, but I just don't think it well, is. I, I only disagree with you here because again, everything you said actually makes my point for me. 
when you mm. have done this in a way publicly like look you're right there may well be like no um lead driver status at mercedes but he's clearly given the rest of us the impression of that and just by virtue of putting it out there in the public given this toxicity that we live in today with social media and everything that by itself is creating the illusion of that and what did they say perception is greater than reality right and that's kind of what it is Mate, and oh, by I the way do, you keep saying i don't think that george mercedes, is gonna let that happen I, may, think george, mm, I think george if he's in a position is there, will, is there a young driver in the in the making that that total likes even more than george one might say like is there is there yeah, one maybe, i mean but, look to me if we're doing like the this is my boy kind of scale right the, on the scale right <laughs> george finishes a distant third behind you can argue who total likes more between kimmy and max but Good God, you can't tell me that George is in the top two That Like, it's just not happening. And again, that makes me think that George is going to go into a 2025 season with Max in the other seat, absolutely fired up to show that he is the guy. He's doing it right now. I, yeah, he's doing it right now. By but I still think he's going to lose out. The, the, benefit, the benefit number one, right? And he will have that on his CV. If Max turns up, he'll already be able to say, well... Okay. I beat Lewis Hamilton in his in his okay. backyard Fair. in the first season that we were up against each other. Okay. And I beat him on pace in qualifying in the season following. He can say all of that, but my question to you is we weren't gonna this is not planned. Let's say that happens. There's Max, there's George on an expiring contract next year. And you know they haven't gotten Kemi Antonelli next year. So 2026 is I guess it's now or never then, right? What does Toto do? Got nothing to do with Toto, man. Look, Lewis. No, no, is but wait, in. what's gonna? What's Lewis gonna, what's... is leaving, and they're still not giving them equal treatment. They're, they're, sorry, they are still giving them equal. I'm not treatment. talking about equal treatment. So that was a, that was saying... a faux pas. <laughs> no, no, no what, sabotage what, here. No, no. <laughs> okay, well, what I'm saying is, what do they do for 26? If this is the case, do they bring Kimi Antonelli in at the depends how they it depends how George does, doesn't it? Like if so, so, so I you're think 2025 gonna... becomes even more pivotal for George Russell and he will attack it even harder because he had something to prove. He always feels like he has something I mean, to prove. Every time he walks into a team, it feels like he has something to prove, George, which I find just, crazy. Just, but, that's not that's not a reason for him to be successful. Everyone's trying hard. Like it's, it's not he, like the other he, guys are going around saying, oh, no, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm not going to try this hard today. Yeah, but look at what Wait, George trying hard looks like over the last Then look at what Max season. trying hard looks he like does, too. He does make mistakes, right? Don't get me, don't get this twisted. George has got a ways to go. He still makes mistakes in crunch moments. I'm not going to forget Singapore last year. I'm not going to forget Canada this year. I'm glad you remember him. Yeah. He he has he has mistakes in his locker, but he also has steel. He is an animal and he will yeah, fight but... for what he thinks is his. And I think that that clash one will be great to watch, but also I don't think is 100% callable in Max's favor. Everything you said about George and his will and his desire, that is Max on a normal day. Like that's fifty hey, percent of Max. Tell me, so, tell me, you so, are you are so excited I, I cannot, to see that? I am. I, I the, here's what I'll agree with you on. This should happen, and, and I can't wait to see it. And I can't wait to come on here week after week and, and say whose fault was it? Was it George's fault? Was it Max's fault? Who went into the corner deep? All, Who went into the, the while, corner shallow? All the like, while, Lewis, Lewis and Sean. Oh, there you go. Uh, there, that's off to the real championship. Guy. No, no, that's anyway. going to be a battle too. We'll, we'll have to pick it up in another yeah, day. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think Charles is going to be the walkover. All, all of your old Charles haters think I, I'm calling all of you out, Cam, Tomo, all of you guys, man. You guys are shitting on my guy, and see what happens next year. Indeed. <laughs> uh, and on that bombshell, uh, I think we should probably call it. So there you go. What do you guys think? Um, this is a completely hypothetical, dystopian world that we're talking about. But if Max does turn up at, uh, at uh, Mercedes. Who comes out on top? Is it a barn door easy? Why are you even asking this question? Uh, or is there a bit more nuance to it? Uh, as usual, please like, please subscribe. Uh, please leave us a comment. We read all of them and uh, we respond to as many as we possibly can. Uh, we love, love, love to hear from you guys. We really, really do. Um, and we will see you guys with some more fun and games over the summer break.